Hey, what's up guys? So there's no real way to clear your watch later playlist on YouTube. The only way to really do it is by clicking on this traffic light menu and then clicking remove from that watch later for every single video. And that's a bit tedious. So what I thought is maybe we can write some JavaScript inside of our console to just do that process for us. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my um, console window. Then I'm gonna clear my console. And then I'm gonna try and locate this element. So I'm just pressing Shift Command C. Uh, on Windows, it's Control Shift C. I can't use this button ID because they've got multiple elements with the same ID. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the container for this whole row and I'm gonna use that and then select the button. So let's see, cool, no, that one. Yeah, this is the one. Cool, so I'm gonna grab all the classes here and then I'm gonna go inside my console and write document.querySelector and pass through those classes and they need to have a period sign before them and then we need to actually just also locate this button so it has, see it has an id of button um, so i'm actually just going to pass pound sign button here also and then i'm going to run dot click to make sure i got the right element awesome okay we do once we have that, then I need to find this remove from watch later element and then click it. So let's do that. Oops, I need to not click it. So, so now inside of our elements, I'm just gonna right click here and I'm gonna say copy selector and go back to console and then try this. Let's paste the selector in here and press click. Okay, cool. So now we have JavaScript that will clear out our um, playlist. So now let's put that in a set interval. So it just clears each video out one by one. Cool. So I'm going to go uh, set interval and then I'm going to create a function in here and just going to make an arrow function, close it up. And then I'm going to copy this at the top here. And then I'm going to copy this one here. So now we have our function that will delete a video for us. And I'm just going to make the interval every 200 milliseconds so that at least the UI has time to catch up with this. And let's just see if that works. Awesome. And now we are cleaning out our watch later playlist with a little JavaScript snippet. Cheers. I hope you guys enjoyed this one.